when you hear about a content management system, then most of the times it's about mastering a website. You need a good tool to create and edit website content without writing or coding HTML or PHP. For information screens or digital signage screens, you also need a content management system to edit the information on your screen. Most of the times, the data that you display is related to time. You have an announcement for today, a deadline for next week, a meeting this afternoon, an anniversary today. All your content has a start date and time to display and an ending time. With our Outlook point add-on for Microsoft Outlook, you just added that information in a dedicated calendar next to your personal calendar. A calendar per monitor for display purposes. You choose your calendar and Outlook Point synchronizes all information to a database that is then picked up by your information screens. The advantage of using Outlook as your content management system is that you don't have to develop an extra application. You don't have to train people. All they have to do is to maintain the messages as appointments in the calendar and our software will do the rest. Let me show you how this works. When you go to the Outlook Point options in your Outlook and click Settings here, then you get an overview of the subscribed folders. Let me now add a new calendar folder. I'm changing the days that we go back. 15 is a bit too much, so we are going back two days. And we look seven days forward. We select the folder that we want to synchronize. We can have multiple folders here, of course. And we give a decent name to this subscription. Now I'll click OK. And this folder is being watched by the application. So now I create a new appointment. I enter a subject. I set the time and date. start time, end time, and I save the appointment. And I add a second appointment for a longer period this time, and I enter a new subject. So now I will save, and we will have two appointments in our calendar for today. Now, this information is saved to a database. So let me have a look at the path to the database. I'm going to that database. This is the database, Microsoft Access database. Click to open. And there we have the same structure as we have in Outlook. So here we have a calendar table. And in here we have two events in our time frame of two days back and seven days in the future. So here you see the subject that we have just created. So this information is continuously synchronized in the database. Let me minimize this and we go back to Outlook. So now let me select this one and I delete this appointment. So this deletion is also written to the database. And let me check here. There you see the first one got deleted. So on your information screen, we had two appointments displayed there. And now with the deletion of one appointment in the Outlook application, uh, we also have only one appointment on the screen. So let me, let me show you how you can link this information, this Outlook information by data point in a PowerPoint presentation for display purposes. So I'm adding a new Microsoft Access database. I'm going 
to the folder of the Outlook Point database. Here it is. So that's the connection to the database. And then I add a query where I can choose the TBL calendar or a query for the apartments of now. I can give a decent name to the database connection. And a decent name for the query. Okay, so now we have the information linked to this PowerPoint presentation. Now we only have to use a text box and link this information to the subject field of the database. So now we have linked this first text box only. We can continue and link the, the other ones too, to the second row, the third row, etc. But now when we start the presentation, we display continuously the Outlook information. So when we change something in the Outlook calendar and we go back to the running slideshow, which is normally running on another um, computer, there you see the update happening. And here we have the slideshow running. So now we can change the Outlook information from any other PC in the network we change the calendar items, uh, etc. And all the information is written to the database and DataPoint is using that information and displaying the up-to-date information in your running PowerPoint slideshow.